G'day everyone, it's Warren from NQ Explorers with another outdoor gear review video. The equipment you're about to see me test and review in the bush today has been sent to me free of charge for this review video. If you have a look at our playlist on our channel, we now have a gear review playlist where you can look at all the gear reviews we do on the channel. We are primarily a metal detecting, relic hunting and adventure channel, but we also do reviews on outdoor equipment that we actually use in the bush on our adventures. Thanks for watching. Today we'll be reviewing the Ida Hill off-grid water filtration system. Okay, here's the Ida Hill water purifier unit. Good durable plastic. It's got a uh, sturdy carry handle on the top, weighs six kilos. Little control panel here. You've got your USB-C input, your on-off switch, which you uh, depress for three seconds to either turn it off or turn it on. These two buttons are your reverse osmosis and hybrid filter purge buttons. When you get a uh, filter full light, you disconnect the hoses and press these buttons and it purges the water out of the filter. And then you just got a run uh, LED, which is green, a charge LED, uh, and the two lights for full filters. On the ends, you've got your inlet and outlet ports. This one's for your inlet dirty water, just a screw fitting. And this outlet end, twin hose system for the fine filtered drinking water and for the washing water. This is the contents of the accessory box. You got your uh, reverse osmosis filter wrapped in plastic, your hybrid filter, same thing wrapped in plastic. We'll unwrap and lock those into the unit shortly. We've got a filter removal tool, which is a great idea because. Uh, leverage on those, especially if your hands are wet and you're working in a creek, could be difficult. A little instruction manual, it's uh, quite small but there's not much to say because there's only a few controls you need to know about. And then you get the charge cord, uh, which is a neat little USB-C to USB-C cable. This is nice, this comes in the accessory box, it's the hose bag, which is a good little carry unit because they're going to be wet obviously when you finish filtering your water in the bush or wherever you are. So. There's your two hoses, obviously. That's the uh, inlet hose with a little... Uh, that's what you drop into your dirty creek to filter. And that screws into the uh, inlet on the unit. And this one, this is a neat arrangement. These are your two outlet hoses. And as you can see on there, it's got the drinking water. And this one is just uh, your washing and cleaning water. Now, this is handy on the filter cover. You've got all the instructions you ever need to know about how to operate the machine. So, obviously... Uh, you must put the inlet pipe into the water before you turn it on, otherwise it'll cavitate and the pump won't work. Uh, press and hold the three seconds to turn it on. How to correctly install the filters with the arrows on the lock system. Now when using for the first time, the product will self-clean for about 10 minutes, which is a normal self-cleaning phenomenon. Every time you use this product after that, it will flush the filter for 30 seconds. So it cleans any dirty water out of the filter that you've left in there from your last operation. Then there's uh, information on the, how to replace new filters. Green light on the battery flashing means the b low battery recharge. And when the filter lights flash for either of the filters, you need to change the filter. So let's put the filters in. Just open this door. Okay, filter placement. Now you really got to force this down because you've got to get these O-rings to uh, seal inside the unit so it's a matter of lining up this little arrow here with the unlock push it down and rotate it to lock simple as that and the other one's the hybrid filter same thing push it down hard spin it round till it's locked in place and ready to go Okay, I've got all the hoses set, I've got the filters in, we'll do the uh, 10 minute initial filter run uh, and then we'll get in the land road and we'll head out and, and we'll filter a creek somewhere out in the bush.
But I found a lovely little bush creek here. Water quality doesn't look too bad actually. I'd almost drink that as it is. But of course all the uh, livestock and the wildlife upstream are contributing to the quality of this water so it's probably not real good. Normally I just boil this but I reckon this will be a good test for the uh, Ida Hill. We'll uh, get it cranked up and we'll get a glass of water out of this creek. We'll just compare before and after and then uh, we'll have a drink of this water and see how it tastes after it's been through the Ida Hill filter. Beautiful little spot. Plenty of fresh water to filter. Okay, let's have a look at a before shot of the water quality. It's a bit stirred up there in that little log. As you can see, it's not too bad, but it is discoloured. There's obviously floaties and things in there from upstream, like I just mentioned, livestock and wildlife. It's quite a lengthy creek, and there's a fair volume of water coming down here. And of course, in the flood, it gets very uh, turbid. So anyway, we'll uh, crank up the Ida Hill and get some cool, clear water out of this creek and uh, we'll do a taste sampling. Okay, intake hose into the creek there. Once it fills with water, it sinks to the bottom. That's all good. Get our outlet hoses here. Now that the filters have been uh, charged, I did that at home, that did the initial 10 minute charge um, to clean the inside of the, uh, the actual appliance and, and the filters themselves. Now they're full of water. Ready to go. Okay, we're underway. Three second press of the button. We should see some water pumping up through here shortly. Once it's done its little self clean, we'll take a sample. As you can see, it, it starts pumping the uh, washing water uh, hose first and then the secondary filter starts pumping through the drinking water hose which is the shorter one with a little white end on it nice fairly quiet operation Now the flow rate on the Ida Hill is 0.25 a litre a minute, so four minutes, one litre. I'll put a gallon conversion in the bottom of that for anyone who's not in Australia or on the metric system. So she's pumping away. It's been just about three minutes now, so uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, grab that little uh, glass jug and we'll uh, see what the water sample looks like and we'll do a taste test. There we go. Four minutes for a litre, so it'll take about a minute to fill, uh, fill this little mug, which is 250 mil. As I said earlier, the drinking water is the one with a little white end, and the uh, washing water, or the um, you know just general purpose water which isn't as filtered finally comes out of the longer hose gee that looks pretty good doesn't it look at the clarity of that compared to uh, the before sample Okay, well there we go. There's the filtered water. Isn't that beautiful? Let's try it. Well there we go. Looks great. Yep, it's very soft and no taste whatsoever. As you'd expect from fine filtered water. That's just beautiful. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. And you could filter much murkier water than this. This is pretty good water, but uh, as you saw in the before shot, it wasn't entirely clear, but look at it now. Nice work. Well, the Idaho performs well in the bush.
Well, it's the Ida Hill portable water filter. Great bit of gear. No trouble with the operation. It's very simple. It's only a few buttons to uh, manipulate there. The filter life I'll put in the uh, in the bottom of the video now in gallons and liters, and it's quite lengthy. Um, great in a uh, outback survival situation, or just to carry around in your four-wheel drive or your caravan, where you might need fresh water um, in any sort of conditions. Uh, it hasn't actually got a tie, any tie-down lugs on it, and being six kilos, I definitely want to strap it down if you have it in the back of your Ute or your uh, your um, four-wheel drive or in your van. You want to have it secure because it's a little bit of weight there. Comes with that nice carry bags for the hoses when they're wet. That's all good. So really, it's the ideal addition to any uh, outback travel kit, caravanning, adventuring, full driving. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's the Idaho filtration system.